guys, it's your girl, Classy Queen, back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about some of my preferences that I wear in the fall time. If you're new here, welcome. If you're oldie, welcome back. So, yeah, fall time is coming up. We do have like a month before we really get into fall time. So, it's time to really get in there and pull out all of y'all fall perfumes. So, I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite, favorite perfumes that I love to wear in the fall time. So, if you would like to see what I'm going to be smelling like this fall, just continue on watching. So, first of all, I just want to share you guys my scent of the day. And my scent of the day is BB. It's just a um, designer perfume, you guys. You know, you're older, you know who, what BB is. But isn't this bottle just so freaking beautiful? I love it. Although I don't wear it as much because I really want to save this perfume. I feel like I'm not going to find this perfume again. But this is a summer perfume that I wear. And it's just so fruity and just smells so freaking good. I just love it. I love how um, it sprays. It just sprays out so beautiful. But yeah, it just made like a little heart. And it does have a flat surface. So it does sit up like this. Um, and it has a little chain on it. A little heart chain. Yeah, that's what my scent of the day is. BB. That's what I'm smelling like. All right, now let's get into the goody goodies, you guys. So the first perfume that I'm going to be talking about is Rebel Floor. I believe that's what it's called. Floor, floor, correct me if I'm wrong. But yes, Rebel. This actually is a summer perfume. Well, you really can wear this perfume here year-round. But me personally, I always wear this in the fall time. This Rihanna Rebel. Um, I believe that I had it for like a year now. Um, I did get put a little dent in it. Um, this is a small bottle, probably a 1.7 or something like that. Um, it's actually a one ounce. So this is a one ounce. Um, like I said, it is a summer scent because this is a fruity perfume. But but to me, I feel like the darker the liquid is in the bottle, it's more for like fall, winter, and more the spring, summer perfumes. That they tend to have more of a lighter color in it. This perfume here, it is by Rihanna. Um, I just love the bottle. And it just screams fall to me. I don't know. To me, it do. It, feel, it just screams fall. But yeah, this perfume here, it was launched in 2010. And let's just hop into the notes. The top notes in here are peach, plum, and red berries. Middle notes are coconut, tuberose and red berries the base notes is vanilla patchouli musk and it has amber so yeah very fruity fruity scent but i just love to wear it in the fall time smells so freaking good but yeah this is probably my number one scent here that i love to wear in the fall time so let's just hop into the second scent and see what we have all right you guys so this next scent here that i have it is michael kors mystique shimmer this perfume here is an amber woody fragrance um and this bottle is everything you guys look at that it's kind of dirty because it has like a little mirror top on it so it does get smeared a lot because it leaves fingerprints and you know all of that but other than that the bottle is very very pretty you can see the name here michael core it has shimmers on it, dark blue, light blue. Bottle is just so freaking gorgeous. And it also has Michael Kors 1981 on it at the top here. But yeah, this perfume here is so freaking gorgeous. I love wearing this in the fall time. Y'all see how she sprays? Y'all see that? Oh my gosh, she smells so freaking beautiful. This right here is giving me rich bitch vibes, like for real. If you weren't this, you got money, baby. Seriously, if you weren't this, you have money. Like, this is screaming. Boss lady, CEO, I own my own. Sh like, for real, I love this perfume. And um, I really, I, sometime I will pull it out in the summertime. I probably would, probably two times this summer. But it's probably, like, here. I think I had this bottle for, like, a year and a half, I believe. No, no, I'm lying. I actually got it last year because it actually came out in 2000. Yeah, this came out in 2000. But, yeah, I did get this last year. Um, and I have been spraying it a lot last fall. But, 
yeah but yeah let's go ahead and hop into the notes baby the top notes in here are black pepper and bergamot middle notes are saffron um and they have floral notes in it the base notes are woody so yeah it doesn't have a lot of notes in it but basic but smell good you don't have to do too much to smell good baby this here is basic but it's everything i'm telling you guys smells so freaking good so if you don't have this baby go ahead out and run and get it honey hopefully you can find it my third favorite perfume you guys is beyonce heat y'all this is an oldie right here i actually been wanting this perfume for so freaking long this is another perfume i probably had for like a year and a half probably two years i believe a year and a half if I'm not mistaken, but this is a beautiful perfume. I actually wanted this perfume when it first came out. It actually came out in 2010, I believe. I believe it came out in 2010. This is just another gorgeous bottle. Y'all know me. If you know, I always fall for packaging. I just love this bottle. Beyonce, girl, you did this. You did this. Like, this is another one of my fall fragrances. Oh my God, I just love it. I love it, love it, love it. But, I only pull her out in the fall times when I'm going on a date, uh, whether it's a girl's night out or a date with my husband. That's when I pull this out because this here is like a luxury perfume to me. I just love how it smells. It just smells so subtle, but it has like vanilla in it, like amber and vanilla. But yeah, let's hop into these notes. The top notes in here are peach orchid magnolia and neroli the middle notes are almond musk macaron and honeysuckle the base notes in here are amber tonka bean and sequoia i think that's what it's called sequoia i'm not sure but baby this is everything i don't really like the top on it because it's it falls off easily like most of my perfumes i would pick them up by the top and this one here every time i try to pick it up the top just come out but other than that i love the bottle i love that she have her name engraved right here but yeah it does have like light liquid so i mean the color of the liquid is not really screaming fall time but the color of the bottle is but yeah this is my third favorite perfume that i pull out for the fall time all right, you guys, so my next perfume that I'm going to be talking about, you guys heard me talk about this perfume before, and this is Burberry Body. This is another one of my perfumes that are that is giving me boss vibes, like, oh my God, CEO me, boo, CEO me. I just love this in the fall time. Baby, I could just see myself stepping out with my black dress on with a little boobie showing. Like, y'all, this here... It's everything. Throw on me some red or some pink heels with that black dress. Baby, everything. This perfume here, it came, actually came out in 2011. Let's get into the notes real quick. And I, the top on here is excellent. I love this top. It's kind of like a magnetic top. So I could just pick her up by the top and she don't fall. Um, I believe this is a 2.7. Two Let me see. This actually is a two ounce. This one here is actually a two ounce, but I just love this bottle. It just reminds me of like a crystal, very, very gorgeous, Burberry body. And I'm telling you, honey, when you spray this, baby, you're going to want to show your body off like, baby, seriously. But let's hop into the notes. The top notes in here are peach, wormwood, wait, what? Wormwood. Ow. I'm just curious to like what they smell like by itself. But yeah, um, I do have notes right here. If you guys see me keep looking now, I do have my notes right here. But yeah, it's peachy, wormwood, and freshia, I believe. Freshia. My middle notes are rose, sandalwood, and iris. Base notes is musk, cashmere, woods, vanilla, and amber. But another one of my favorite, favorite perfumes that I like to pull out for the fall time. Last but not least, you guys, is, yes, Replica Jazz Club. I know, I know this is a man scent, but sometimes, you guys, in the fall time, I love to have a little musk 
in my um, perfumes for the winter and the fall time. So this is one of my favorite, favorite perfumes for the fall time. So I actually feel like this can be for a male or a female. Like honestly, anybody can wear it. But yeah, this is Jazz Club. This here, it lasts a very long time. You guys, check out this mist. Look at that. I love a good mist. I never had any problems with this. Oh my God, this is this smells so freaking good. Like it's yummy. I have gotten so many compliments on this Jazz Club. Um, there are a couple of more replica brands that I want, not brand, but replica perfumes that I want to pick up. But yeah, this is my first replica. Here, let's hop into the notes. Um, the top notes in here are pink pepper, neroli, and lemon. Middle notes are rum, clary sage and java vetiver oil base notes are tobacco leaf vanilla bean and styrax but yeah this here another very very yummy scent you guys i'm telling you guys if you don't have have this in your collection go ahead and pick it up if your man got it just just test it out just test it out i'm telling you guys y'all love it my women not my guys but my women try it out i promise you you will love it. you can mix it with some of your bath and body work this here i actually will mix this with my magnolia bath and body works um but yeah very very beautiful scents but yeah you guys this is it for this video these are all the perfumes that i have that i'm going to be starting off with for the fall time as it come in Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you know when I do an upload. Like this video. And I'll see you guys until next time. Bye.